All right, we created our first edit poly. We did a basic modification to it, which is all fine and good. Let's leave this polygon for later. We're gonna actually keep it in our scene. Let's just put it right there. We'll leave it in our little still life scene that we're gonna work on and complete later. And we'll do some other modifications to it. But now let me show you a few more tools about the edit poly that will come in handy for us. Let's start this time by just creating a shape. A rectangle. This one's not going to be part of our scene. I'm just going to show you some additional things. So with this rectangle, we can right click, again convert to edit poly, then it becomes a solid. Now I said before that borders are any open edges, meaning an edge that has an opening on the side of it, on any side of it. So on this side there's a face, or a polygon, but on this side there's nothing, so it's an open edge. With that open edge, we can select it by going into Edge Sub-Object Mode and clicking on the edge we want. Again, go into Select and Move. Now if we move in the Z-axis, it will stretch that polygon. But if we hold down Shift while doing it, let's try that, hold down Shift and move in the Z direction. And remember, this has to be on an open face, but what it's doing is cr creating a new face. So now if we go into face mode, we have one face, two face. Let's select some other edges. Make sure and hit F4 so that you can see. Whoops, it didn't create. Hold down Shift. There we go. With F4, with the wireframe accentuated, then we can see the new faces we're creating. The other way to do that is, of course, going to here and selecting Edge Faces. Okay, but you can see that holding down Shift creates new geometry, which is cool. Now, believe it or not, if you were to model a car or something, you might start off just like this with one square. And then you take it. And you can do things like, like this. Start moving things rotating them, move again, and you can just follow the contours of a car like that and create an entire shell of a car using polygon tools like this. It seems quite complicated, and it is, but once you get the hang of the polygon tools, you can use it to create very complex objects. So let's look at a few more things that we can do with these that is simple to start out with. If we take this face here and hold down shift and copy it over to here, like so, we can either clone it to an object or clone it to an element. With an element, it means that it's just another element of this same polygon, which is what we want. Because now we can use the tools together with this face and these faces. If we go into edge mode, select this edge, hold down control and select this edge so that they're both selected at the same time then we can use a tool called Bridge. And what that does is connect them together. Actually, there's a tool called Connect too, which is a little bit different. Connect is used by selecting several edges. In a row, and then hitting Connect. Again, we'll want to hit the dialog box here so we have control over it. And that, you can see that's adding new edges. And you can specify the number of edges you want to connect those lines with. And then you can pinch them apart or together. And you can slide them up and down. And then, of course, that creates new faces that you can extrude, bevel, inset. Let's look what inset does. Extrude. Moving a little bit fast here, but... These are all just tools that you can use within the, the polygon sub-object modes. Each sub-object mode has its different set of tools. There's some other things in here. Attach is an important thing. If we had a basic object, like a sphere, and we wanted to connect it to this, then we could go into Edit Poly, sub-object mode, Go down to Edit Geometry and hit Attach. 
and then we'll be able to select what we want to attach to it and now that's part of the same polygon as well okay attach is pretty self-explanatory there's also slice tools down here cut tool is an important one if you select cut then it has this new icon that looks like a little slicing blade and you can cut new edges into your object like so just kind of wherever you want if you have snap on you can snap from here to there and cut it so that's a few of the tools just know that each one of the sub objects within an edit poly has its own set of tools and pretty much if you're trying to do a certain thing there's probably a tool for doing that let's look at cut real quick go to edge select this edge and this edge and we can bridge it again not like the girl's name Bridget but bridge it okay there's one more thing to look at here if we do border this becomes a border because they're all open edges border you can use something called cap and that fills that border in with a face let's look at these edges here select those and we can use a chamfer on them so you can either just select chamfer and come over here and drag and it will chamfer those edges or you can go into the settings or the dialog box and then you can adjust it like this and you can add more edges to it like that so it becomes a rounded chamfer so you can really do a million things with within edit poly tools this is just a few examples of some of the tools but there's a lot more and we will continue to explore the applications of all these as we go throughout our various projects